why the conflict happens and how can we solve it now this is ego we all have it and this is optimum and this is just fine but when this ego start to act and maybe because of some reason you think that somebody has insulted you even if that person has not insulted you or you are angry on something so that ego start to come and then it ego starts to rise and it becomes really big and then that's the problem because with ego the pain comes this is pain this is ego and the pain comes but the pain is so small the ego is there and the conflict will be there even if the other person is trying to solve it but even if you think that you should be solving it but the ego is there even if you have understood that you have done some mistake you are not going to solve it now with time the pain start to rise and now when it is almost equal to ego then you start to think that okay there was some problem and i shouldn't have done that now it is coming almost equal to it and now you start to realize that it means nothing now i am just really uh, having all this pain and there's no point of this and the time comes it really goes up the pain goes up it keep rising it just keep rising and that's the time you understand start to understand that this ego had no meaning no meaning at all and then you start to reduce it and then with it the pain start to reduce because you understand your mistake and you start to talk about it and solve the problem so the pain reduces the ego reduces the problem gets solved now the real thing is that why this happens and how can we make sure that it doesn't happen so the best thing is that keep your ego low ego will be there but keep your ego low and even if something happens some conflict happens the pain will come but never let it rise if if it does not rise there will not be any conflict and the pain will come and the problem will be solved so keep your ego low and uh, the pain solve your problems and uh, your relationship will not be affected